There we have it, guys. Hi, Fala. Hey everyone, so welcome to another vlog, cooking vlog. In this vlog I'm going to show you guys how to make baifala. Um, so baifala is pretty much pineapple pie in Samoan. It is very popular at uh, Sabbath Tornai. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make baifala. It's a very simple recipe. Um, it's my grandma's recipe, so bear with me as I try to explain to you in this vlog how to do it. Hope you enjoy and hopefully it turns out all right. All right, let's get started. So all the ingredients were purchased at Coles and these are all cheap ingredients. So normally this dish costs about $20. Um, here are all the utensils used in this recipe as well. So here we go. First you need one and a half cups of custard powder. Uh, Foster Clark's custard powder. One can crushed pineapple. Four cups of water. Two cups of milk. Three cups of sugar. Four cups of flour. 500 grams of regular spread or butter and six eggs separated so let's begin firstly you're gonna fill up your pot with water I normally just use tap water because it's going to be boiled anyway over the stove um, so you add four cups of water into the pot turn your pot on to medium heat and then you're going to boil the water once you've done that, you open the can of crushed pineapple, drain the juice and put your crushed pineapple into the pot while it's boiling. Next you're going to grab one cup of raw sugar and this will go into the water mix as well. So we're making the custard filling first. Next you will grab a bowl and mix the custard powder along with the milk so this will serve as the second half of your filling for the pie um, make sure that you mix well the mix so you don't leave behind any clumps of custard powder it's very important to do so otherwise you'll have a very uh, clumpy mix once you've allowed the water to boil you pour the custard milk mix into the pot and while doing so, stirring at a medium heat. This will allow the custard mix to thicken. Next, we are going to make the base. So you'll need your butter. So you grab 500 grams of butter, put that into the bowl. And then you will also grab the sugar, the raw sugar, and mix that in. So it's important that you do these two first, otherwise you'll have an interesting base. So mix that well with a wooden spoon until it looks like that. And then you're going to use the eggs and separate them. So it's a skill to have to separate eggs, but it's important that you separate the egg yolk from the white the egg white so you put the egg whites in a bowl and put it to the side you'll use this later mix the egg yolks into the sugar and butter and then once you've done that you then grab the white plain flour and you add it into the mix i normally use the first three cups of flour to mix well with the wooden spoon and then i save the last cup of flour for the um 
final mix with the hand. So I use hands, my hands to do so um, for the last cup of flour. So make sure you pretty much knead the dough right through until it is well mixed, like so. You can tell that it's a good mix when it's not sticking to your hand, so that's a good thing. Once you've done that, you grab your glass cake tray and then you are going to grease the pan and just like so. And then grab your dough or your base mix and then create a base using your hands. Everyone's different, I just do it freelance but it's up to you how you do it. Then you use a fork and poke holes into the base to allow it to rise. Once you've done that you turn it to 180 degrees and let it bake for 20 minutes. Meanwhile you are then going to use your egg whites and sugar to make the meringue on top of the pie like that. So then you're going to use that and once you've done that you bring out the base once it's ready and then you pour your custard mix on top. This will allow the pie to form on its own so you don't need to press the base down um, and then once you put the custard filling in you then place the meringue or the egg whites on top to form the meringue. Note to self make sure when you're baking this in the oven that you grill with a very close eye because it does tend to burn easily so keep an eye out for that. Once you've done that, you let it sit for 5 minutes and there you have it. Bye Fala. Enjoy. So there it is guys. The Bai Fala. It's different from your normal Bai Fala you see at um, Kongais. Normally we have cream and peaches on top. My grandmother, she puts um, egg whites um, as a part of her special pie, I guess. So yeah, it's a pineapple pie meringue for those fancy uh, English terms you might use. It's meringue rather than a bay. I still like it. That's the cooking for this week or the baking. You can always have this as well with cream or ice cream on the side. This is the Bai Fala. And I'm gonna have some. There we have it, guys. Bai Fala. I'm gonna try it now. Cheers. Bye.